Yo, what's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make all of these modded outfits. So I hope you enjoy these, and if you do, please leave a like down below, as it will help out the video. Also subscribe if you're new, but you don't have to, it's completely up to you. Anyway, shout out to these people on screen now for commenting hashtag TJRH on my last video. If you would like any of these services, be sure to check out Digizani down below in the description, and you can use code TJRH for 5% off your order. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So to do this glitch, you're going to need to come to any clothing store. And you want to go inside. And make sure you put a required amount of money inside of your bank. So I'll have it on the screen. And once you have done so, all you need to do is go and equip the outfit you would like to keep. As by doing this glitch, all your saved outfits will be deleted. So make sure you equip the one you would like to keep. So if you want to delete all your saved outfits yourself. Or by doing a the glitch, they get deleted either way. But once you have done so, all you need to do is open up your pause menu and go down to swap character. And once you're here, you want to make sure your main character uh, is in the first slot and it needs to be a male or else it won't work for you. And you want to make a new female character in slot 2, so the right slot. And you want to make sure you accept this alert. Once you're on this menu, just make sure it is a female. Then you want to hit save and continue. Name it anything. Then take the picture and you'll load into a public session. By the way, you will have to go through a cutscene first. But don't worry, it's quite a short one. Now when you load in, you just want to open up your interaction menu. And enable passive mode so no can match you up whilst you are doing the glitch. And you want to open up your map and see if you have any clothing stores. If you do, just go to one. However, if you don't, you need to find a new session and they will appear. And when you have made it to a clothing store, you want to go inside and head over to the accessories menu over at the back of the store. So just over here onto the accessories menu. And you want to make sure you have uh, no accessories equipped, so most standard outfits come with earrings. And you want to make sure you take those off. And if you see any other accessories, uh, like watches or anything, uh, make sure you remove those. And now I'm actually going to skip to when I made all the outfits and go over them from there. Uh, so I'll still go in depth and show you everything. So the first outfit we're making is a red and black one uh, with the invisible torso. Now as you can see this consists of three different outfits on the female. So for the first one you want to head over to gloves on the accessories menu. So over here to gloves. Then on the accessories go on gloves and you want to equip the white surgical gloves. So these ones here. And after you do so you want to back out and head over to shoes. So over onto shoes. Then on this go on boots. And you don't actually want to equip these, you want to equip a different one because you'll see later these give you the orange deadline shoes. So instead you actually want to equip the worn chocolate slack boots. Then after you do so, head over to pants. So over to pants. And on this, go on to sports pants, you want to equip the spotted muscle pants. So these first ones here. And after you do this, head over to tops, uh, which should be behind you. And you want to go down to tank tops. Then equip number 61, the uh, mocker torn short crop. So this one here, number 61. And that's the first one done, so go and save this. And you want to save this to slot number 2, so start in slot number 2. And make sure you name it the same as I do, so red black 1. And after you do so, we're moving on to the red black 2, so the second outfit for this. And for this one, you want to head over to gloves. So over onto the accessories menu. And go down to gloves. And this time you want to equip the light woodland armoured gloves. So make sure it is a light woodland armoured. Then after you do this, head over to tops just behind you. And you want to go on uh, tactical jackets. And equip the last one so the khaki tactical blouse on. But once you do this back out and go down to bikinis. Then on bikinis equip the black bikini. So this one down here. And you want to keep the shoes and the pants the same. Then go and save this outfit and you want to save this to slot number 3. So just underneath the first one. Uh, make sure you name it Red Black 2, so the name is I do. Uh, the same as I do. Then for the third one, all you need to do is keep everything the same. However, you want to head over to Tops. Then go and work jackets and equip the Peach Camo Closed Field. Then after you do this back out and go down to tucked t-shirts. 
So on this, and you want to look at the blue digital t-shirt, so number 75. The blue digital t-shirt. Then once you have done this, go and save this to slot number 4. And you want to name this red black 3. So the same as I do. And that's all the red black outfits done. So uh, we're going to move on to the next one. So make sure these are all the same as mine. So the next one is going to be the checkerboard one with the black ripped shirt. And the checkerboard vest with the black vest shirt. So for this you want to head over to shoes. And you want to equip the deluxe midnight combat boots on high heel boots. Also make sure you keep the gloves the same as before. So the light woodland armoured. So after this go to pants. And you want to head over to jeans and equip the black cropped jeans. So these ones here. Then after you do this head over to tops. And make sure you take the jacket off from before. And then you want to go down to sports tops and equip the grey racer pack. So this one here. And that is this first one done. So all you need to do here is go and save it. And you want to save this to slot number 5. And name it the same as I do. So check it 1. So make sure this is the same as mine. But anyway for the second one you want to keep everything the same. Except for the tops. So you want to head over to tops just behind you. And you want to go on sports jackets. And equip the sea green puffer jacket. So up here. This one. So after you equip this you want to back out and head up to bustiers. So down to bustiers. And you want to equip the white lace bustier. So this white lace bustier. And you want to back out and all you need to do is go and save this. So you want to save this to salon number 6. Just underneath the checkered one. And then name this checkered 2. So yeah that's all the checkered ones done so. Uh, all we want to do now, we're going to move on to the uh, SWAT top with the CEO vest and the black joggers. So for the first one, you want to head over to gloves first. Go over to the accessories menu. And you want to go down to gloves, then equip the black woolen gloves. So these ones here. And what, after you do this, you want to back out and head over to, uh, I believe, pants. Yeah, so go over to pants, you don't want to go to shoes. On pants, you want to go down to the utility pants and just equip the black battle pants. So, second to last, then after you do this, uh, go to tops, you want to go down to bustiers, then equip the white lace bustier. So, this one here, and you see the sports jacket, uh, you actually need to go to the casino. So, uh, I'll show you now where to uh, buy it from the casino. So, all you need to do is come to the casino and go to the clothing section in the casino. Then you want to head over to tops and go down to sports jackets. Then I put the last one to so the maroon broker puffer. By the way, you will need some chips for this, so make sure you take out some chips. Then once you have bought this, you want to go back to any normal clothing store. And inside of here, open up your interaction menu. And this is important, so this is so you can get a CEO vest. And you want to go to inventory body armor. You want to show armor and show heavy armor. Then you want to go save this outfit and save it to slot number 7. And then name this the same as I do, so Armoured 1. And once you have saved that, the second outfit is going to be pretty similar. So it's going to be the same except for the shoes and, and pants. So you want to head over to pants and go on sports pants. Then you want to look at the first one, so the spotted muscle pants. Then head over to shoes. So over to shoes. Then on this, go on boots and look at the red cowboy boots. So these ones down here. Then after you equip this, you'll notice that your heavy armor will have come off, so you want to open up your interaction menu. Go to inventory body armor. You want to show your heavy armor. So make sure you do this, or else you will not be able to get a CEO vest on this outfit. Then you want to go save this at the front desk, and make sure you save this underneath the other one, so to slot number 8. And name this armor 2. So that's both of those outfits done. Now moving on to the final outfit, so the yellow juggernaut outfit. All you need to do for this, you want to head over to gloves. So on the accessories menu. And on this go down to gloves and you want to equip the light woodland armoured gloves. So make sure it's the armoured. Then you want to head over to tops just behind you. Then go down to biker cuts and equip number 50 so the patched darted vest. Then once you do this back out and head over to tucked t-shirts. And you want to equip the white roll T, so number 5. The white roll T, then back out and head over to her shoes. This time you want to go on boots and equip the black slack boots. 
So these ones here are black slack boots. Then you want to back out and head over to her pants. So over to her pants. Just over here, and you want to go on the menu. And go on sports pants, and again, equip the first one, so the spotted muscle pants. And these might already be equipped, so just make sure you have them on. Then you want to go to the front counter, and save this to slot number 9. Then name this the yellow juggernaut, or yellow J naught. So the same as I do. And that should be all your outfits complete. So I'll now go over them slowly and make sure you have all the same components as I do. So make sure they're the exact same as my outfits. Then after you've checked they are, you want to open up your interaction menu and take the easy way out. This, uh, so this should force the game to save. Then when you load in, you need to open up your pause menu. You go to online, you want to go down to creator and start this up. Then when you do load in, you want to create a race and then make a new land race. Then when you do, you want to fill in the details so the title, description and photo do not matter and they can be absolutely anything you want. Then you do what does matter, you want to set a max players to 3. So set a maximum players to 3 and you also want to set a route type to point to point. So make sure you do this and then if you want to you can choose any supercar or F1 car to make this process a tiny bit quicker. And once you've done this just open up your pause menu and you want to warp to the airport. So press A I believe to warp or something else for PS4. And when you're over here place a trigger anywhere so it really does not matter. Then you want to take a photo of absolutely anything for the lobby camera. Then you want to place checkpoints until the race is at least 0.60 miles long or something like that basically until the uh, caution icon goes away at the bottom right. But once it does go away, you want to test the race, so back out and go to test the race. Then you should get this alert, so accept this alert. And you want to open up your pause menu, go to online, choose character. And in this screen you want to delete your female character, so press X um, or square for PS4 on the female character and delete her. And once you have deleted your female character you need to return to story mode. So B for Xbox or circle for PS4. And when you load in start up a new online invite only session. Once you have loaded into online, all you need to do is you'll notice you have uh, the outfit you chose to keep at the beginning, so you want to go save this. So go in the clothing store and head up to the front counter. You want to save this in the last slot, so slot number 20, away from all the other outfits. So speaking of the other outfits, you should notice they have all transferred over to your male character slots. So you'll see all of them with the same names. And all you want to do for the first one, so the red and black invisible torso outfit, you want to go on Gorka suits and equip this red Gorka suit. So you'll notice it has a red and grey slash black uh, pants. So once you have equipped these, uh, you will also need an earpiece for an expert, so make sure you have one. If you do not, you can purchase one from any ammunition store uh, in the middle on the gear section. So just make sure you have one, but you do not want to have it equipped just yet. So from it, open up your pause menu, you want to go to jobs, play jobs. Then go down to Rockstar Created, you want to go on Versus and start Crooked Cop. Then when you load into the menu, just set the clothing to Player Owned. And you want to invite anyone to start this up. Then when you load in, go down to Owned Outfit and scroll 3 to the right. And you should have this outfit, so all you need to do is ready up. So ready up and load into the mission. Once you have loaded into the uh, mission, you need to open up your interaction menu. And remember that earpiece I told you to buy, you need to equip that earpiece, so go into your accessories on style and equip your earpiece. And when you do, you want to go down to the clothing store in the mission, so you spawn closer uh, when you actually kill the mission in a moment. So go in any vehicle and drive down to the clothing store.
then over here just make sure your earpiece is still uh, equipped then you want to open up your phone and quit the job by using your phone then when you spawn back in you want to run over to the clothing store But inside of here, this part is optional, you can either remove, remove your earpiece if you want to, or keep it on, either way it doesn't really matter. But yeah, after you do so, go and save the outfit on the front counter. And again, make sure you save this out of the way of all the others, so you want to save this to slot number 19. So all the way at the bottom. And after you do save it, you also want to uh, delete the outfits you used to make this one. So delete the three outfits you used to make this, so red black 1, red black 2 and red black 3. And now for the checkered outfit, all you want to do is you want to go to uh, equip any uh, gloves you want on the outfit. So I'm going to be using the black biker suit for the biker gloves. But if you don't want these, you can equip any other gloves and they will merge on. So anyway, once you do so, open up your pause menu. You want to go to jobs, play jobs. Then go on Rockstar Created versus and start up Crooked Cop. And once you do load in, just go down to clothing and set it to player owned. Then all you need to do is invite anyone and start this up. And once you load in, go down to owned outfit and you want to scroll two to the right. Then just ready up and you'll have this outfit. And when you load in, open up your interaction menu. And you want to go to style, accessories and equip your earpiece. So equip your earpiece and after you do this, go down to the clothing store in the mission. Uh, so you spawn closer when you quit the mission. Now over here, make sure your earpiece is still equipped. Then you want to quit a job by using your phone. And when you do load in, all you need to do is go into the clothing store, so run over to the clothing store. And if you want to remove your earpiece, or you can keep it on, it doesn't really matter, then just go and save the outfit out of the front counter. So it makes you save it at the bottom, away from the other outfits, so this one to slot, num slot number 18. So save it to slot number 18 and after you do so, delete the two outfits you used to make this one, so delete checkered 1 and 2. And now you'll have the first two outfits, so the red, black and the checkered outfit. So for the next one, which is a SWAT outfit with a CEO vest and black joggers, all you need to do is we need the CEO vest outfit. So to do this, come to this clothing store on the map. And then you want to open up your interaction menu and set your spawn location to last location. And once you do this, go on hide options and set the jobs to custom. So this will make the blue jobs appear on the map and there should be one outside this clothing store. And from here you want to register as a CEO, but you cannot be in passive mode so make sure you disable passive mode. And once you are a CEO, go management style and you want to go over to the El Jefe outfit. So this one here, I believe that's how you pronounce it, but yeah, the CEO, the one with the CEO vest. Once you have this equipped, go on the blue circle and press right D-pad to start it up. When you load in the start of the uh, race. And in this first menu, uh, you want to press confirm and continue. Then in the second one, wait a few seconds and then quit the job. Now when you spawn on foot, all you need to do is go back into the clothing store. And you want to press right d-pad on any of the menus quickly. Then in this menu, wait until you get kicked out of the menu. And when you do, you'll have the CEO vest outfit. Now just retire from your CEO. And now it should let you still keep it. So you now have this outfit and all you want to do is open up your pause menu, go to jobs, play jobs. And you want to go to Rockstar Created, then go on Versus and start up Crooked Cop. And when you load in, go down to clothing and set it to player owned. Then invite anyone and start this up. 
And when you load into this menu, go down to own outfit, scroll two to the right, and you should have this outfit with the CEO vest and the SWAT top, with the black joggers now ready up. So when you load in, you want to open up your interaction menu and go to style, accessories and equip your earpiece. Then after you do so, you want to go to the clothing store in the mission so you spawn closer when you actually quit the mission. So go in any vehicle and drive to the clothing store. Then over here, make sure your earpiece is still equipped and you want to quit the job by using your phone. Now when you load in, go back into a clothing store, so run over. And inside of here, make sure you, uh, you can remove your earpiece if you want to, but that's completely up to you, you don't have to. Because it doesn't really matter anyway, so you want to go to the front counter and save this outfit at the bottom, so to slot number 17. So to save it out of the way of the other others. But once you do, just delete the two you use to make this. And then you should be left with the final outfit, which is a yellow juggernaut outfit. So for this outfit, you want to go on to tops. Then go down to racing jerseys. And equip this one, so the black and yellow one. So it should have the black and yellow gloves. So equip this one, the downhill motocross. And after you do this, head over to pants, and you want to go on cargo pants. Then you want to look at the sand cargo pants, so these ones here. So these ones here. So make sure you equip these, then after you do so, you want to head over to boots. So onto shoes, then on boots, and equip any of the ones that tuck these uh, bottoms into them. So we do this, and then you want to open up your pause menu, and start up Cricket Cop. When you do load in, you want to set a clothing to player owned, and then invite anyone and start this up. And then in this menu, you go down to owned outfit and you want to scroll one to the right. Then just ready up and you'll have this juggernaut outfit. So when you load in, you want to open up your interaction menu and just equip your earpiece. And after you do so, go to the clothing store in the mission so you spawn closer when you quit the mission. Now over here, make sure your earpiece is still equipped and just quit the job by using your phone. Now when you load in, go into the clothing store, so run to the clothing store. Inside of here, you can either remove your earpiece or keep it on. Then you want to go save this outfit on the front counter. So you can save this one anywhere as we no longer need them in order. And yeah, that's all the outfits complete. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, the outfits, of course, as well. Um, I'm not going to show you any customization options. Otherwise, this video would be way too long. So feel free to customize them as you wish. So do whatever you want. Add helmets, rebreathers, or whatever you want to. It's really up to you. But yeah, please leave a like down below if you do enjoy uh, or if you found this helpful, which hopefully you did. This video is quite long now, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day or night, and I'll see you all in the next one.